A couple days ago, I received word that the owner of my school's Minecraft server, JJ, was openly abusing his power. Dude, he just wanted to create a mid-fight! Many had tried to stand up to him, but they were all swiftly banned. The plan was to effectively ban JJ from his own server using an exploit with shulker boxes. So in order to gather those, we crafted Eyes of Ender, located the stronghold, and prepared to enter the end. But JJ had other plans. Alright, you guys ready? Bro, uh, he's, he's, he's breaking it! Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! Get in. Just, go, just go, just go, just go, just go! Just go. <laughs> He's not banned. I just got banned. What? Yeah, actually, are they banning us? Yeah, I spoke. Wait, wait. I'm banned. Immediately, I messaged JJ himself, saying that we didn't know the end was off limits. And to my surprise, he agreed to unban us under the condition that we were teleported out of the end. But from this ban, we had gained one important advantage. All four of our accounts had already entered the end and gotten the achievement. Meaning as long as we were being watched, we could enter the end again without anyone knowing. But it seemed like JJ was already on to us, so he sent his right hand man to keep watch. What the heck? He just TP'd Raiden. What? We needed a way to get Raiden off our trail, so while he was distracted with fighting my teammates, I logged on to my main account to gather the materials we would need for our next move. Alright, I'm getting materials. Keep fighting. Keep them distracted. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back. Come back. Hi. Come back. Come back. Come back. I have a bed here. I have my I have my bed. Here, Raiden's here. Uh, do you have hey, strength? Don't you have strength? Spoke. Do you have gear? Do you have gear? Spoke. No, I do not. Oh, I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. Just run, just run. Oh just run. my god. Nice. Jeez, man. Yo, what? He has gaps? Wait, actually? Bro. They geared him up. No way, dude. I have now I look like a dumbass times two. Oh, he's. Oh my god. Oh my Acorn, god. bro. Wait, can you? Hunters? They gave him a bunch of health. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Easy. <laughs> Although all the materials I would need for a flying machine had been gathered, Raiden would not leave us be. Knowing that I wouldn't be able to fly to an end city with him online, I logged off for the night in the hopes that he would be offline the next day. Sure enough, the coast was clear. Here we go. Alright, we gotta be decently quick here, because Raiden could log on at any moment and instantly teleport to me, see him in the end, and then I will be banned. <laughs> okay, it's pretty much done. We're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> no way. Please, please, please. Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay, we're chilling. We got 900 blocks to go. Okay, so earlier today, a couple of my friends went around and got the world seed based on the location of certain structures. So that means we have a map of where all the structures on the server are, villages, end cities, all that stuff. So I have the coordinates of the closest end city. It's about a thousand blocks away. We just have to get there basically before Raiden logs on. All right, 50% there. Taking deep breaths. There it is. We're so close. We are so close. Come on, come on. Bro, no way. I, I just need to go. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, dude. What was that timing? I had only just made it to the outer end islands. However, upon entering an end city, the game would broadcast in chat that I had found one, meaning I would need everyone offline for the moment I entered the city, where I would give myself away and be banned. So that night, I told everyone to log on to Hypixel to play some games with me for a video. What they didn't know, however, was that I had given my account to my friend Acorn. And while they were all playing on Hypixel, I was busy on the server gathering shulker boxes. And before long, I had gotten enough shulker shells to craft six boxes. Not wanting to get greedy, I slid them into my ender chest and blew myself up. All that was left now was to gather 162 books and quills. See, Minecraft servers can only handle so much data at once. So if someone picks up a shulker filled with high data books, then opens their inventory, the server glitches out and kicks the player repeatedly. As long as that shulker stays in their inventory, the game will continue to kick them every time they try to join. The last thing we needed to do then was to find a way to get a shulker box into JJ's inventory. Alright, here's the plan. I'm gonna invite him to our base to trade and tell him I've got like a secret chest with like trade items in this house here. But in reality, I'll have broken the shulker in this house so that when he walks in, he'll pick it up. Also, make sure to fill your inventory so you don't accidentally like pick up the shulker. And Acorn, can you be like hiding in the well and like sneaking around in case something goes wrong? Alright, he just DM'd me. He's almost here. Uh, it's not showing up on the ground. What? It's invisible. Here, get another, get another, get another. We're good. Break it. It's gone again! Shoot, dude, what do we do? Hey. Is it possible that it's just not rendering because it's so much data for the server? Why is this happening? This isn't supposed to happen. Dude, he's literally here. I think we just have to hope it's actually there and just not rendered. All right, we're just sending it. 
He's following me. He says, no, I'm okay. What? Just drop them. He thinks it's a trap. But no matter what I said to him, JJ refused to enter the house. We would need to improvise. All right, here's what we do. Can you can you set up a shulker in the water? Set up a shulker in the water right now. Oh, are you gonna try to lure him into a boat with you? Like when he's attacking yep. you? I'm gonna provoke him. I'm gonna get him into a boat. He's gonna jump into my boat and I'm gonna run him over the book ban. It keeps, it's not, it's like not there. It's fine, it's fine. Just describe to me where it is. So you go down the stairs and you stay completely straight. All right, I'm provoking him, I'm provoking him. What if you die though? Like, then? Sinel. Okay, crit him. He's fighting back. Okay, he's on me. Run to the boardwalk. He's still on me. Wait, he's running. He knows I'm trying to lure him somewhere. Cows and villagers are, and then go down that hill to the side. Okay, I'm going around like the left area, left area. He's cutting me off. Do you know the boardwalk that I'm talking about? Um, I think so. I'm coming down the side. Okay, no, he's still suspicious of a trap, dude. Okay, you need to set up another shulker, like, like opposite of where we are right now. You need to set it up outside the village because he thinks there's a trap there right now. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god. Are you actually about to die? Uh, maybe. Please, 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 saturation. I'm alive, I'm alive. Okay, I set up another one. Okay, I'm trying to take him to it right now. You said it's by his soul soil block? I see it, I see it, I see it. I'm going towards it. Okay, he's on me. Okay, you just walk right over it. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god, please say he has it. Wait, he combat logged, what? Oh my god, I know what happened. Everything that could have possibly gone wrong had gone wrong. See, JJ had installed a combat logging plugin on the server, meaning when you leave the game mid-fight, the server kills you. Normally, the plugin's used to prevent cheating, however, in this case, when JJ opened his inventory after picking up the shulker, he was technically still in combat, meaning when the shulker kicked him, the plugin also killed him, clearing the shulker from his inventory. And to make matters worse, JJ had seen the shulker, meaning everyone knew what we were up to. Now, not only would the entire server be on high alert, but my account was permanently banned from the server. Although all hope seemed lost, I wasn't ready to give up. With two shulker boxes and one final Minecraft account remaining, we had one last chance to stop JJ and his admin abuse. In exactly 24 hours, the entire server planned to fight the Ender Dragon together, presenting us with the perfect opportunity to ban JJ. See, once you enter the end, there is no way to return to the overworld without ending up at a spawn point. So depending on whether or not JJ set his spawn before entering the end, he would either end up outside the end portal or inside his base. And little did JJ know, he had given us the exact three pieces of information we needed to locate his base. Firstly, we know that he came to our village from the southeast direction, meaning he's likely located in the positive positive quadrant. Second, we can use the time it took him to reach our base and multiply it by the rate a player travels at to get an estimate of the distance his base is from spawn. And assuming he wasn't taking the absolute optimal route, we can conclude that his base is around 6,000 blocks from spawn. Lastly, after JJ died, he made the mistake of screen sharing his respawn point, revealing that his base laid in a plains village surrounded by river on both sides. Using the map of the server we obtained earlier to find end cities, we can locate the very few plains villages that meet all of these criteria. And sure enough, no way. Wait, this is it, dude. As Technoblade once said, stay in school, kids. It makes you better at PvP. Upon finding JJ's base, we had everything we needed to put our final plan into motion. But before our last chance to ban JJ, I want to mention that I'm trying to reach 400,000 subscribers before the end of the summer, which is a lofty goal to say the least. So for every one of you who subscribes on this video, I'll add one piece of TNT to the stack and blow it all up at the end of the week. It's literally free to subscribe, and if you enjoy my videos, it only provides you with more banger content just like this. Let's see if you guys can literally crash my computer. This was it. Down to our final Minecraft accounts and shulkers, if we failed here, the server would forever be subject to JJ's unjust and corrupt use of power. So I dropped one shulker at his spawn point and prepared to drop a second at the stronghold in case JJ set his spawn before entering the end. Meaning either way, JJ would respawn at one of the two spawn points and pick up the shulker. But before I could place down the last book ban, I just got TP'd. Someone just TP'd what? me. Someone just TP'd me out. Oh, this is not going to plan. Where did they teleport you to? Some random place. I just got TP'd again. I'm at zero, zero. You're at zero, zero? Yeah. Shoot, dude, I'm so far. 
I didn't set up the last shell for the stronghold, bro. Dude, it is in the end. Shoot, dude. It's literally a coin flip, bro. We just have to hope he didn't set a spawn at the stronghold. They're about to kill Badger, bro. Like, they're really close. They, they finished it. They finished it. Irritating to me that. Wait. He has it. We has the book ban. He has the book ban. It worked? How is he back on the server? JJ had gone through the end portal, respawned at his base, and picked up the shulk. But for whatever reason, JJ's server was behaving completely different to my test. If we wanted to permanently ban him from the server, we would need to get not one, but three shulkers into his inventory. So while Acorn got one shulker from an entity, I would have to return to JJ's base and slip the book ban I had on me into JJ's inventory. But time was ticking before JJ found us out and banned us. Alright, dude, we gotta move. How the hell am I getting into his base in time? Where is your spawn? Oh shoot, you're right. If I die, I'll respawn under his base, right? Birds are... Okay. I'm, uh... Oh, he's right there. I have three seconds in this. I'm, so, I'm planting it in his base. Okay, I planted it. Okay, he picked it up. He thinks he duped it, but he picked it up. All right, I'm gonna get the stuff to craft the books right now. You need to finish up getting that last shulker and then we can permanently ban him. Okay, I just made two shulker boxes. Suddenly, JJ logged off for the night. By this point, most of the server had figured out that we were the ones trying to ban JJ, and we would likely be banned by the next morning, meaning we had to finish this tonight before word spread to JJ. Just one shulker box away from permanently banning him, our final Hail Mary would be for Acorn to tell JJ she had proof that I was cheating, at which point JJ would log on and teleport to me to ensure that she was telling the truth. However, I would be standing on the final shulker box so that when he teleported to me, he would pick it up be banned for good. Oh, I'm so nervous. He is, he is. Can you spam him? Because we need to get him on in like five minutes before this despawns, dude. Wait, did you already break it? Yeah. It's too early. That's really early. Oh, I just spammed him. Help, 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 help. Oh, he, he messaged me back. Oh, yeah. Let me log on real quick. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're ready. Please log on. Please log on in time. Please log on in time. Oh my god. He's here. He's here. He's here. Dude, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He left. Oh shoot, dude, he saw us camping his spawn. Now he's gonna be hella suspicious. We missed him by one block. Okay, it's fine. Can, can you try to convince him to just log on one more time? Because we have his log off spot now. He just needs to log on one more time. How do, we... How do I even explain this? I just said, well, I was following Johan. They have like literally no armor, so I thought if I threatened them, they couldn't do anything or they'd die. And he's up there, he's teleporting to you. Ain't no way. Dude, you just clutched up so hard. Thank you. Please, man. Please, 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 please. He's just just log on, him. dude. This Johan, Johan person is sorry. Come on, come on, I know what he's Come on, just pick it up and open your damn inventory, please, dude. Okay, either he has a full inventory or he hasn't opened his inventory to actually, like, get banned. I'm starting to get scared it's full. No, he's not banned. It's over. How is he not banned? Yeah, he's in creative and he probably has a full inventory. <sighs> yeah, it's not working. Didn't work. I'm banned. But just as all hope seems lost... Wait, he keeps joining and leaving and joining and leaving. Wait, is he joining and leaving? Yeah, but... Wait, he must have just opened his inventory. Yes! We actually did it! No <laughs> last way! Chip. Last possible oh, chance! We did it! We did it! Yes! Yes! yes. Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> He's done. He's banned. He's permanently book banned.